Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to customize your metrics, your key performance indicators in your Facebook Ads Manager. Uh, for this example, I'm using our company's Black Bear Advertising, our current Ads Manager right now. Um, as you see, you have your columns here and you can, again, you can scroll over what you're wanting to look at. Um, to be more efficient, what they have allowed us to do is to be able to customize these columns so we can see what we want to at the very beginning or whenever, whatever order we'd like. So here in the middle, we have a spot that says columns. Right now, it's on automatically went to one of their preset ones that they have. And what I always recommend with everybody is to do, click on customize columns. Now, when you click on that, it will actually take you, uh, it will bring up, it, it loads sometimes. So I uh, already have it pulled up here. It takes you to another tab that opens up that, Again, it will, it will allow you to pick and choose which ones you want. A lot of them, again, whether you're doing you know, e-commerce or lead gen or a local traffic campaign, it's all gonna be different on what you're trying to look for. So let's say you're doing um, you know, e-commerce, you wanna make sure you're, you're seeing the return. So that one's usually not on, the, on a preset a lot of times. So you can type in ROAS, which is that a you know, return on ad spend. You can click here and, and now you want to see the total. Um, so the big thing to do is to scroll down in the bottom left. If there's something you want to see all the time, you want to save it as a preset. So when you click it, you want to type in your name. And again, you can type in whatever you'd like. If I do Black Bear Advertising, it's kind of the easier one to find. Um, and then make sure you push Apply. And that way it saves. Um, and every time you change it, just if you put in that same name, it will save over your last preset. So just remember that. So, and, and one thing to remember as well is on the right side, you have them all in order from left to right. And here it's, it's a top to bottom. You can actually move these around. So that way, if you want to see your cost per result quicker or your amount spent quicker, you can do that. Again, it's going to be personal preference. When you're done, just push apply. Um, and then, like I said, it's going to ask you to replace that because I already have the BBA made. You replace that. And then boom, you can see them from left to right quicker. You can see which ones are active here on the left. You can see the amount spent. Um, and it will just help really in being more efficient in your day to day, especially if you have multiple ads managers that you're looking over. You want to make sure you're not having to scroll and scroll and look for the KPIs that's already ready for you. Um, one thing to remember uh, if you do click in the top corner, like reset ads manager, which you will have to do periodically, um, it does mess up your columns. It usually sets it back to a preset. There's no really way to set as a default. Um, so every time you do come in, if you, if, you, if, the, if you have to log in for that day, make sure you click on columns and click down to the one that, you, that you're wanting. Um, so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think and comment below. Make sure you like the video. Thanks.